G'day, Tim Robinson here from the Blue Scope Media team. Very special guest joining us here today at the Port Kembla Steelworks. That's members from the St George Illawarra Dragons and some past players from the Illawarra Steelers. It is the 40th anniversary of the Illawarra Steelers this year and they're celebrating with a big home game at Wynn Stadium on Sunday against the Canberra Raiders. So we thought, why not link the two tyres together? Because, of course, Blue Scope has played a big role in the Illawarra Steelers history. Number four blast furnace, an iconic photo back in 1987. Saw a number of players line up. We're going to try and recreate it with number six blast furnace in the background today. Ahead of the tour, we worked hard with our safety team to comply with a risk assessment so that the players could remove their vests and glasses for the photo. And let's go and take a look. The photo we just tried to sort of replicate out there, I guess, was from 1987. Do you remember when that photo was taken? Can you tell us a bit of a story about it? Yeah, McIndoe was being a bit of an idiot in that one. So it, uh, you can see him there, he's, he's prancing like a, like a winger, as he would. <laughs> and uh, when you have a look at it, it's, it's a classic of jeez, we've led. We didn't think they were going to keep that photo. Times have changed a lot, Bolty, because when you were playing, you were working hard. And I understand there were a lot of players that you played with that worked right here at the Port Kembla Steelworks. A lot of the guys, especially the young ones doing apprenticeships and things like that, so, so the Steelworks has been a huge part of the Steelers all the way through. It's a real, really strong connection. I remember, I remember, you know, when I was a young bloke just starting out playing first grade and still coming to work in here every Monday, you know, and if you, if you had a good win, it seemed everyone was seen pretty happy and production beasts have happens, all these sort of things that I reckon production <laughs> was up and sickies were down. Dad actually worked out here for a bit, uh, not too long, but uh, yeah, he was operating uh, cranes for a while and like knowing that um, the Steelers that I grew up playing for in the junior reps was named after all this, I think yeah, it's just something very special for, for myself. My, my cousin worked here um, a few years back and I'm pretty sure my brother worked here uh, when he was a little bit younger so yeah, there's a little bit of uh, history uh, that goes back on, on my half. Junior Steeler myself, I uh, played Harold Max initially, ball for the Steelers, so it means a lot to me. But that was the first time sort of coming through and you, I just found out it was like 700 hectares, um, the size of a 700 hectares, so it was pretty massive. You forget, like you don't really know from the outside looking in how big it is. Yeah, the Steelworks, yeah, the, there was 20,000 employees there at that stage, and so it was it was the lifeblood of the town. Yeah, it is still the heartbeat of the town. To hear the uh, new projects that are coming up, it's pretty exciting, exciting for the town. And, you know, there's a real connection there and it's, and it's a big part of the area. You know, if this wasn't here, we probably all wouldn't be here. You know, it's been personally a big part of my life too. 